The gospel is a pardon for the guilty. God's good news in Jesus Christ that he would die for us sinners and rise again from the dead and then say, I will forgive you on the basis of what I have done. Uh, that sounds nice, but to a guy that says, I don't need it. You need to give that to somebody that needs it. I I'm a nice fellow. Uh, I don't need this. You find out that the Bible says all of us have sinned in one way or the other, maybe not to the same extent. And you find in Romans 1 that God happens to be angry with the human race that has rebelled and thrown off his law, rejected his love, and made a wreck out of the earth. Listen to the verse in Romans 1.18. The wrath of God is presently being revealed from heaven against all godlessness and wickedness of people who suppress the truth. He goes on later in the book to uh, express what this godlessness is. They're filled with uh, wickedness, evil, greed, depravity. They're full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, gossip, slanders, God-haters, insolent, arrogant. He mentions how immoral the human race has become. They invent ways of doing evil. They have no understanding, no fidelity, no love. I mean, it's bad. The x-ray reveals incredible disease in the human race. And so you get a revelation that nobody wants to hear about. God is a God of wrath also a God of love. And here's the tension. Is he angry or is he loving? And from the biblical revelation of God, he's both. That the word for wrath here is simply the Greek word for anger. God has a righteous anger and a righteous hatred for everything that's against him. Uh, everything that is not according to his standard. God hates it uh, when a man murders another man or he violates other people's rights or hurts people, violates the innocent. God hates it. God is not Mr. Neutral. God loves and God hates, but his is perfect. We get angry. We have wrath over the wrong things. Uh, somebody got in our way, uh, traffic problems. God has his holy, righteous anger and wrath against that which is against him and against his law. And so he says here, God is revealing right now, right now, the human race is living under the wrath of God. And you say, well, how's that? He will go on to say how God is giving men up, giving them up to do whatever they want. And when mankind does whatever they want, it's a dangerous place to live. And I ask you, if you live in any of the urban centers of this earth, is it a dangerous place? Is it full of evil? Are there people there that want to hurt, lie, cheat, steal, even, God forbid, maybe hurt you or take your life? God said, this is the kind of world that came into being after man rebelled. When man and woman rebelled in Genesis 3 against God, God says, I've been giving the race up, giving the race up, and the gospel is given to such people. We should not be offended that we rub shoulders with sinners, that we work with sinners, that we grew up in homes with sinners. We live in a sinful world on which the wrath and judgment of God is falling. And God says, only the gospel, only the good news concerning Christ can rescue such people from due judgment. They're being judged now, but ultimately it will be final and permanent. Have you fled to Christ? Have you admitted your sin? Have you admitted you need a pardon? Guilty as charged, I run to Christ. He is sufficient to make you stand before God, pardon, 
right and no wrath ever executed on you. That's why you need Christ. Come to him.